So it's been a couple months now since I got these 50% Het for Asiantic Lily White Crested Geckos, and I figured they've been growing. So let's do an update showing their progression, not only in their coloring, but also their weights. And then we'll toss in another 50% Het or 66, I can't remember which one it is, but I have another one that is non-Lily White that is also growing out too. And figured we'll toss that one into the mix. But for now, we're gonna start with this little one which is actually the smallest of the bunch. This one I just weighed in at 3.4 grams, almost 3.5 grams. So it's grown a massive gram and a half since October at this point. We're now in the middle of January. So slow grower here, but I've heard everybody say how crested geckos definitely all grow at different rates and this is an example of that and there's other examples of that that are on the extreme other end of this but this one looks really cool and i don't know if you can see it or not right now but uh its eyes are huge i don't know if it's a bad thing or what i mean it eats it poops it sheds so i assume nothing's wrong it looks like a healthy gecko but its eyes are just huge and you can see there the spots on the side of it are definitely coming through more and more as time goes and it's going to be exciting to see where this one ends up and see if it ends up proving out to be het for azanthic so this one is currently crawling up my arm i'm not gonna try and stress these ones out at all i just want to make sure everybody's okay and show you guys the progression oh. <laughs> on these little ones pretty little one and i'm excited to see where it goes as it grows next and here's the second and when i first opened this one up out of the box the first thing i made a comment about or remember seeing was the white crests on this which you can see even on the camera right now are still there with this one it's got such cool crests on there they're just bright white look at the white on the crown oh there's a good angle on it that looks nice and throughout this too i'll pop up the parent pictures on the screen while i'm talking about these as well as some b-roll video but on this one i just remember being so tuned in on that that white on the crests there that are just so bright and with this one, just like the last, the, the white is starting to spread. It's really cool to see that, that white spread on these. And you can really see that base kind of fading and the drippiness coming through there. It's just everything is spreading on this one. And the back may even be getting more white. And I figured I can show some of the progression of these from what they were like when I first opened them to what they are like now, which this one is beautiful. It's just getting brighter and brighter and I'm excited. So there's another one. This one weighed in at 4.3 grams and it weighed 2.3 in October. So it's almost doubled its weight since October, which is decent, but it's nowhere near the best or the top of the scale. I would say for all five of these geckos. So with that being said, that's that one. And it'll be fun to see where this one goes as time passes. And real quick here, I'm noticing between these two geckos, this one's eyes definitely are nowhere near as far popping out of its head as the last one. So if that is a problem, can someone let me know? The gecko seems healthy other than the fact that it's growing slowly but those eyes they stick out quite a bit on that one so yeah let's move on to the next one and next we have this one so i'm showing the parents and the original footage of this gecko from my unboxing on the screen this one the uh the pattern hasn't progressed a ton this one I was a little bit worried about because it did have at one point a stuck shed, but it took care of it itself and it looks like this one's doing just fine. This one came from a different mother than the last two that we talked about. 
we'll just let him show off on the on the mouse but yeah i don't think there's a whole lot to say about this one other than the fact that it's doing well it's 4.35 grams which is you know same story as the last one exactly double of what it was when i got it in october one thing about this one that this camera may show well is that it's got some crazy eyes i don't know if this is what people call blue or what when it comes to a crested gecko but it's definitely got some really bright cool looking eyes and to talk about the one that was actually my favorite of the bunch whenever i first got them I can't even hold it to show you because it's the one that stays on my desk in a little exoterra nano tank when i took it out it was just being crazy jumping all over the place and there's no way i'd be able to hold it still so what you're seeing is pictures of the parents and video of it when i got it compared to video of it now and checking on the weight here this one weighed in at 3.8 grams which is a gram over what i got it and when i first weighed it in october and this one is progressing awesome as far as how it looks as you can see the the white on it is spreading so quickly and the back i love the way the back looks on it so yeah this one is awesome it's progressing great it just did not want to stay still for very long and i did not want to chance anything crazy happening while i'm sitting here trying to record you know holding a gecko with my hands so with that being said we'll put my weight card aside and we'll grab what is now the most fast growing gecko I've ever had and seen to this point. It is growing so quickly and I'm excited to show you that one next. And actually, before we go ahead and show the last lily white, I figured I would show the non lily white that I have. So this is one that I received with the 100% het male that I had bought first and showed on this channel. So this is a potential female possible het for a xanthic gecko and she or he whatever it is is growing super quickly. When I first got this one, it was what is it? 8.15 grams back in September at the end of September, it weighed 9 in October and now it weighs 16.2 grams. So growing super quickly and we'll see how long this one takes to get up to size but what i love about this one is that it has this strong pinning on the back of it back here that is a hundred percent pin and if it turns out to be het for azanthic when i put it with the lily white that i have that's a hundred percent het that also has strong pinning on it it'll be exciting to see what comes of that and yeah so this one is growing quickly sometimes it'll eat crickets the previous ones the first one that i showed the smallest one is the only one that hasn't eaten a cricket yet i've gotten all the other ones too but that one just hasn't come around so it's probably part of why it's not growing as fast as it could be this one looks totally different than the rest and i'll be excited if it turns out to be het phrase and here we have the one that has gotten to be the biggest of the 50% head lily whites that I received several months ago. This one went from being 3.3 grams in October to being 8 grams today. This gecko has more than doubled its weight and in one month it almost doubled its weight from 3 to 3.3 to 5.76 which is wild to see and it's it's just cool to see the differences because i haven't done anything different with this gecko i haven't done anything different with this gecko at all i just feed them i get them insects or crickets here and there dust them and that's it i haven't done anything different this one is just exploded in its growth and there's something crazy about this one that i don't know if i can pick up on camera i try to film different angles i can see it right now on the back of it it's got this like fluorescent pink going on in there and i i just i don't know it's very easy to see with your eyes but it just doesn't come through on camera very great it's it just looks wild oh it just pooped no okay we're gonna have to clean that up be right back so yeah while we have this one in timeout here 
it's uh it's something i don't know how to explain i've seen it it kind of showed up a little bit on the other two i don't know if this is like a growing thing with lily whites where sometimes they just get that fluorescent pink in their in their white sometimes i don't know i have no idea i'm not claiming anything by it either it's just something i noticed i'm like huh it's probably normal in the switch from like that that not quite as bright white to that bright white we'll see if it sticks over time i noticed it a month or two ago and it's stayed so far so we're gonna find out and it's fun to compare these things and you know why not finish the video out just showing off the 100 percent het lily white male that i got from brian at altitude exotics this guy is stunning and while obviously he won't be paired with or have anything to do with the five lily whites that i showed previously this is the one that's going to go with that non-lily white that has the strong pinning on it with the full pin stripe so yeah this guy is awesome looking he's not quite there breeding wise yet he's got a couple more grams to gain <laughs> and uh it's exciting i'll show an update on this guy and 100% het female that I have as well here in the near future. And if there's anything that you'd like to see with these geckos, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and put this one away before he decides to poop on me like the previous. And I hope you guys are enjoying these videos on my journey with crested geckos. Follow along and just see where this goes. I'm super excited for Azanthic Lily Whites. Hopefully this season I do have some more geckos and one that has already been paired up with one of my friend's geckos. We'll talk about that in a future video and we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.